This is question four. Here we're told that Naomi is playing a board game. She must throw two fair dice. She must get a six on each dice to start the game. Then what we're asked to do is to work out the probability that she will not start the game on her first throw. So in order to answer this question and to illustrate it, what I'm going to do is draw what we call a sample space diagram. And I'm going to list all of the possibilities that could potentially happen. So what, what things could actually happen if we are to roll two dice? And so our sample space diagram, as I said, is just going to be a list of the possible outcomes. So I'm going to label across the top dice one. So what could happen on dice one? Well, I could get a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, or a six. Then going down, I'm going to have dice two. And again, what are the things that could happen for dice two? I could get a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, and a six. Now, what I can then do is I can list all of the possible outcomes when rolling dice one and dice two at the same time. So what I can say is that we could get a one on dice one and a one on dice two. Or I could get a one on dice one, but a two on dice two. And I can basically work all, my, all the way down here. Now I could go on filling this out and so a two on dice one and a one on dice two, then a two and a two. Now I could go on filling this out, but hopefully you can kind of see what is going to happen here. We're asked to work out the probability that she will not start the game on her first throw. And we're told that to start the game, she must get a six on each dice. So what we can see is there's only one way in which that can happen. And so the probability that she does not start the game is going to be quite high. How high is it going to be? Well, what we can see is that in total, how many combinations are there going to be? What I can see here is that there are six in that column. There are going to be another six in that column. And there are going to be six in each column. So in total, what I can see, six, uh, six columns of six is going to give, tell me that there are 36 uh, possible combinations. Then, if there is only one way that is going to start the game out of those 36, that means that there are going to be 35 combinations, which means which mean that she will not start the game. So my answer here is going to be 35 over 36. So the probability that she will not start the game on her first throw will be 35 over 36.